Very much. 40 hours a week and then cricket. Yeah. Amazing stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Now, it combines the thrill of the racing circuit and useful mechanical skills. A go-kart track in Inverness is running a course for school pupils, which is mixing track time with a crash course in car maintenance. And Isla Todd has been for a look. See the boat here? Yeah. You need to get an extension. There are plenty of engineering courses around. Another boat just a bit further down and you're going that way. But this one in Inverness takes a different track, combining mechanics and go-karting to put these kids in pole position. It's a great experience for these young kids, coming along, putting spanners and things, um, understanding, they can actually see it getting built. You know, it's not like a car where you're putting a panel on, you can't see it. With this, when you're driving to the street, you can see every suspension component move, you can, see, you can hear the brakes rumbling on the rotor. The course has been designed deliberately so it can cater to anyone, no matter their academic ability. And part of that is this is a classroom like no other. The pupils can take what they learn under the bonnet and apply it on the racetrack. It's very different from the classroom environment. It's not at all like sitting and learning. It's very hands-on. I picked it because, well, I tried to take it last year, wasn't able to due to subject restrictions, but I've taken it this year again, and it's, it's just a great course all round, and I miss maths on Thursdays. I was actually failing like all my prelims, and I was speaking to my deputy head saying I really wanted to be a mechanic, and she said, oh, well, there's this course. And it was a few weeks before it started, she called him and was like, we've got this one person, can we please squeeze her in? And he accepted, and I would never go back, ever. Take both, both bolts out, so crack one off, crack the other one off, take them out, take the caliper away, or the carriage away, and then take the disc off. Okay. On the surface, it's all a bit of fun, but the skills being taught here are exactly what employers are looking for. With the mechanics course, it landed our jobs at Parks Jaguar Land Rover. As soon as I joined the course, it's just like, this is what I want to do. I want to do this, absolutely. And uh, as you said, it carved away into the, in the mechanics industry. In all honesty, up until about seven, six months ago. I had no clue what to do. I was very lost. And I'd say it was when Pete approached me with, with Park Dragger Land Rover. He told me about it. I became very interested, especially after I completed the course. And same as Liam, I did sort of fall in love with it. I knew immediately that was what I wanted to do. While others decided university was the better fit. So I applied for anything I could basically. So there was Mercedes, McLaren, Williams, um, just anyone that was offering them really. And um, was lucky enough to get um, an email back from Mercedes um, about one. But in the end decided that for just life in general, university would probably be a better option. The skills taught as part of this foundation apprenticeship go so much further than just mechanics and engineering. What's the best time? Who's got the best time? They're better than me. These are the kind of questions that these guys are asking. So they've still got that competitive edge. And they're bringing that competitive edge into their working life now. So they are driving themselves that wee bit, wee bit harder than they maybe would have if they didn't do this course. The team here can't take on any more pupils without a major expansion. But its popularity proves that this approach is creating the drive for success. Isla Todd, BBC News, Inverness.